Hey there guys, Classic Armor here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Ooh, an item. We are coming over here to Route 39, where we can meet an old man. Not what I was expecting. I uh, was going to say we can find a new Pokemon. Ooh, we're going to get told about the Safari Zone. Because uh, in this game, it's no longer in Fuchsia City. And it is way, way out there. But in Johto instead of Kanto. So that's something going for us? Yeah, sure. Let's register your number. That way, um, he can tell us when we can go to everyone's favorite place. The Safari Zone. No one likes the Safari Zone. Actually, if you like the Safari Zone, tell me. And tell me why, because I don't get it. I have always hated the limited number of steps, limited number of balls you have to pay every time you want to go in, and it's all the rare Pokemon that you wish would just be easier to get. I don't get it. Anyway, it is way, way off to the west. He said past the uh, Cyan Wood? Cyan Wood? Whatever. Over here. It's a long way to go, and we have to be able to surf. So it's going to be a while. Which is why it was really odd that it showed up when it did. How do I get behind this fence? Because I see... Oh no. Oh, now I've done it. Uh, I, I saw them. The rock climb rocks. Okay, Ledian. Not not a uh, Pokemon you normally see. And it has Trace. Okay. I could just bring out um, Sun Sun and kill it really easily. But Valor kind of needs the experience and Ledians are not that dangerous. They're a bug flying type. Evolved from Lediba, and I guess they're supposed to be like Beetleborgs or Super Sentai? They're not. Yeah, they're, they're nothing to be worried about. Okay, so that's how I get up there. Won't be happening for a very long time. Something else won't be happening for a long time is uh, putting these things to use. I don't have Fly. I think we get it in Olivine or near Olivine, so it won't be that much longer. Oh no! But we need milk. It's good for you. Um, for reasons. Mostly because it's like 100 HP restoration. And you need it for your business, you know, that. It's kind of important. Do I even have Oran Berries to give it? Haha. <laughs> I'm a dick. I laugh because it said that the mill tank looks sad. I'm awful. Oran Berries. Do I have any? Oh no. No, I don't. Well. Will you give me some? No? How about you? Uh, yeah, I get it. She needs lots of Oran Berries. Guess what? I don't have any of. Oran berries. Oh, yes. Actually, now that I have a team put together, I'm actually pretty proud of. These guys are kicking ass. They're doing it. Cool. And I think if we make it to them, we can see the pictures in the credits. So that'll be fun. Aha, I knew there's a reason to explore. Oh, yes. I think Nana will learn that naturally, but Ominous Wind is a pretty cool move. Special Ghost-type damage and um, has a chance to raise all of your stats. Not a very good chance, but a chance. Let's see if anyone else could learn it. No, just Nana. But she really needs a good Ghost-type attack for Stab. She doesn't have one. I gave her stockpile? 
because it would raise uh, defense and special defense, but I mean, neither of those stats are very high to begin with, and I don't think that she'll be able to, um, you know, survive long enough to make it worthwhile. So we're going to get rid of Stockpile, even though it is kind of fun to try and do like a Stockpile and, uh, was it Spit Up or, I don't know, whatever that move is called where you expel your Stockpile and it does more damage based on how much pile you have stocked. We're not going to do that. That's just not in the cards for, uh, our Drifloon. Hello? Thank you. I tried talking to them, like, three times before I finally had success. I really should have just walked into them. Oh, this is cute. This little Chansey. And I'm gonna break its egg. Also, it's Skull. They have no defense. Tons of HP, but no defense. So that works out really, really well. And they give a lot of XP, that's right. Valor's gonna catch up. Uh, mm, no. No, I don't wanna do that. Uh, Mr. Baldwin. Come out here and flex your water type muscles. Oh no, I just realized though. You have like no special defense, and if Lunatone does a psychic move, it's gonna hurt. You could probably kill it in one shot. Probably, maybe. Sometimes, we'll hope. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Oh, but now it's gonna go faster. Well... We'll just see how this works out. Oh no! No die! No die! Oh my god, that was half its health! Didn't die! But that was half of Mr. Baldwin's health. Mr. Baldwin, what is wrong with you? I need to get you to be so much stronger. Oh, well, Seedra never were very good, to come to think of it. That's why they got the Kingdra evolution. Like, it was a long time ago that I was looking at base stats of any kind of Pokemon, but, uh, I feel like I remember Seedra having a particularly low, um, base stat total. Like, less than, hmm, the low 400s, probably? Like, Ridiculously low for what was a fully evolved Pokemon. Not anymore. Now it goes up to Kingdra and it gets a lot better. But, uh, you know, it's going to take some time to get there. If I'm even correct in how I have it set up to work. We're going to find out, hopefully. Cool. Houndor. That's something I at least have the advantage on. They are glass cannons, too, so this should work out. Just drown it. Drown it in bubbly goodness. Huh. I'm now considering how the world would be if there is a Pokemon game where all the Pokemon were just based on alcohol. Oh. You see, I misread that. I, I read Gliscor as Gligar. I think the same line is just, you know, one's way better than the other. It's okay, though. They're still got the ground typings. An Ice Beam would have been amazing to use there, but Mr. Baldwin's got it covered. Ooh, um, hmm. What else do you have? Um... I don't really care for Jilly that much. But mm, 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 mm. I don't know, because agility is not actually that useful in, you know, normal play through the game. Much better in competitive type situations. But, uh, sharply increase your speed, lower their accuracy, increase your critical. I guess, honestly, it doesn't really matter between focus energy and agility, because, uh, Either way, I can just buy items that do those things. So, yeah, we'll just give up on agility. I could get dire hits, and I could get, um... 
X speed. So I, yeah, it's okay. Lombre is part of the Lotad line, right? So it's a water grass. So we'll put a flying type in and take it out because it's not weak to a whole lot else. What is it weak to other than flying? Because water is only weak to grass and electricity. And the grass typing uh, nullifies both of those out. And then the grass is weak to... Oh, it'd be weak to bug. That's the other thing it'd be weak to. It'd be weak to flying, bug, fire, but water evens out. Ice, but water evens out. And uh, poison. It'd also be weak to poison still. No matter how you look at it, my only way to get super effective on it was to go with the flying. It still worked just fine. Put Valor back up front. Ooh. Sarah suddenly seeming like she's kind of a little bit behind on level 2. I'm... I'm feeling worried. I know that there's an encounter with the rival when we get into town. I forget if it's one in which you actually battle them. I think this will be okay. Should, yeah, should be fine. I feel like every time I say, ah, it'll be totally okay, though, it ends up not really being totally okay. It's like, oh, wow, I took a lot more damage in that Pokemon than I expected. Even though everything was neutral. For once, it actually did turn out okay. Yeah, you can brag about having a lot of money. Um... Well, you'd be very surprised. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm not answering that phone call. I don't know what type she's gonna be. Okay. The music was just really weird. Hey, Ludicolo! We just killed your, um... Uh, middle stage evolution buddy so let's take you out the exact same way ooh oh oh <laughs> whoa oh wow that was dangerous that could have been so bad for most of my team i'm really lucky i put out the one flying type i had oh no astonished that's super effective but that would have wrecked um, Sarah, and Sun Sun would have been bad for the other three. Nana, the only one that looks at things doing Earthquake, and just, she's like, oh, that's just cute. Die. So, I'm, I'm glad you don't mind losing, because I'm really glad I won. Without, uh, someone dying. Let's see what's over here. Who's our new friend? What'd we get? Oh! Neat! I've never used the shift tree. Um... You know, I should really... Make sure I have plenty of balls before I do this kind of thing. So it's what, a dark grass, and, um, oh no, this is one of the kind of Pokemon that evolves from a stone, isn't it? Oh, I think Shitri uh, evolves from, what, it's like the C dot line, so it's C dot, Nuz, Leaf, Shiftry. I think it requires a Leaf Stone, so it can't learn any new moves, isn't that right? Mm. Well, I'll look that up. Uh, based on one word I just read in the uh, Pokedex entry, I'm just going to name you Boncho. And I can't remember if it's S-H-A-O or S-H-O. But, you know, the Boncho fan from uh, Dragon Ball. 
What do you mean you don't remember the early Dragon Ball? It's part of the internet, come on. Okay, it is just S-H-O. So, that was pretty cool. I, I've had such bad or, um, let's just say varied luck when it comes to catching Pokemon. Like, whether they will just stay in the ball, and even if they're at low or high health, the game's like, we don't care. They can be near death, and you throw a ball, and they don't stick. Or they can be full health, and they stay in the ball the first try. Anyway, here's... Oh, I mean, yeah, there we go. There's the rival. They come out of the gym. Ooh, the music plays. So I think that means we're going to have a battle. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad we're too much of a wimp and a weakling for uh, Kimi to care. They're not necessarily wrong, because uh, every time I've come across them, they've terrified the ever-loving crap out of me with their Graveler. So, um, you know, fair is fair. <laughs> they can see me as being weak, and I'll, uh, I'll agree with them. That's fine. It means my Pokémon didn't die today. And we made it to Olivine, so that's fun! I'm still trying to get my phone to not be a piece of junk so I can look up Shiftree's learn set. Let's see. Learn set Gen 4. Now while that loads, let's take a look at what's going on with it in the system. Um, what do you have for an ability? Hustle, which is, what, the same thing that, like, uh, Nana has, I think? Yeah, boost your attack, lose your accuracy, whoopee dee doo Actually, I should have also looked at your, uh, nature defense up and special defense down. And by level up? Nope, you, level 49 a Shitri can learn Leaf Storm. Which should be really powerful. 140 base attack power, 90% accuracy, 5 uses. That would be really good. And honestly, it has some moves. I mean, Faint Attack's physical and it's mixed on its attack stats. With the attack, I guess, being a little higher because of Hustle. And then Nasty Plot can raise its special attack to then not do anything with its Razor Leaf. So I would want to get rid of Nasty Plot. Honestly, this guy doesn't seem that bad. Who would I replace it with? Hmm. I don't know, because a lot of times I think of grass and water as like covering a lot of the same uh, typing coverage. Because they both be ground, they both be rock, it's just that grass also beats, um, uh, water. Yeah, there we go. I was going to give a joke answer, then I remembered what it actually was good for. That's kind of it, isn't it? Ground rock water. Ooh, can we buy Ultra Balls now? Oh, I like how right here your shoulder is just like inside the counter in here. That's a, that's a good, good job game. So, no, I don't think there's anything I care to buy in here. I stocked up on lemonades back in Goldenrod, I'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah, that's why we have lighthouses. Good, good job, Sailor Man. For now, um, well, we're coming up on about 20 minutes here. I think there's supposed to be some trainers out here in Route 40. Hi. Uh-huh. Great waves. N no, I don't have Surf yet. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Well, okay then. I guess that tells me what's going to be happening. And what we have to do next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. We'll be back in Ecritique City to do the exploration I should have done earlier and get Surf because Surf is a really good move. Yeah, like legitimately, it was one of my favorites until I guess Gen 5 when you got Scald instead because. Skull's a little weaker, but it has a chance to burn, but Surf is kind of cool, especially in multi-Pokemon battles, because it can hit more than just one opponent. You just also want to not kill your partner. I think in Gen 3, it couldn't hit your teammate, and then they changed it in Gen 4 and onward. So it kind of lost a little bit of its usefulness there. More of an Earth, like, water-type Earthquake than uh, its own thing. Anyhow... That's enough about Surf. Next time, let's go get it. See you later.